Hi, hello, how are things? My name is Sierra Black, and this is the final part of my Traders of the Occult Church based on imagery of satanic temples. I will eventually add the CC list to this video, but as of now, I haven't updated my game, and it seems like I should just wait out the tomfoolery of everything. I will link an invisible dance floor that I used in the ballroom and the bell that I downloaded for the bell tower. And if you have any questions about anything, you can just leave a comment and I'm sure I'll be able to figure out what CC you're looking for. But I'll need the tray files to get the full CC list and I'm playing offline right now. It's rare for me to update my game right away anyway. I typically wait until at least MC Command and Wicked Whims are updated. But this go round, I could not be more happy. I mean, I was touched by an angel girl. All of these reported bugs have been insane, like pedophiles everywhere, what the fuck? You would think they would want to fix that right away. And I'm sure someone is working on it somewhere, but as of me recording this video, it's been a week and there hasn't been any patch. I don't know how long it took to fix the wedding pack, so. Or the bust to dust pack for that matter, the kit. I, I know that I have a mod that fixed the wedding pack, so that's really the only reason why I bought it. So we'll see how things go with high school. Turn my attention back to the build. I am excited about this ballroom. I found this picture online and in my game I have a completely unnecessary amount of ball gown CC and I need an excuse to use it. The string lights didn't come out exactly how I want it. I am still on the search for some good string light cc but also it could have been that i'm still pretty new to the tool mod i have figured out how to do so many new things with that mod and it's been really exciting for me even though i've played the sims 4 for a while i've never been a builder i never really dedicated the time to doing it the same way i did when i played sims 2 and sims 3 with the gallery being so easy i would typically just do that even though I used to love building when I was a kid but it takes so much time. Since I lost my old save file I want to challenge myself and create a save file that is special to me. I also think CC and mods have reignited building for me in a lot of ways. You are going to see a building blunder. The stairs, the top floor, I forgot to put stairs to the top floor. I was so straight up disappointed with myself because the stairs look awkward now since I didn't plan for them properly but it's fine it's just not exactly how I would have pictured it and as much as I have an internal toxic instinct to tear the whole thing down and start over I just can't mostly because I'm an adult with a whole job and this build took hours the top floor is still my favorite floor the top floor is really when things start to get demented and the bottom floors are cool but to really bring it home, I had to like take the top floor to that occult, dark, cryptic place. I play tested everything. There was some clipping issues I had where I had to go back and realign some things. Um, a lot of it I saw as I'm doing the first person tour at the end and then I just went back and fixed it afterwards. Typically with the first person tour, I try to get it done in like one or two takes because I can find that first person camera kind of frustrating. I'm still kind of figuring out how to do first person tours properly and all smooth. But the important thing is that everything is play tested and I fixed everything that needed to be fixed. The only thing is that the stage on the top floor, the sims can't go onto without teleporting. Which is fine with me because I don't want everyone walking up there. I do need to add a CC podium where sims can get married without the awning. I have some CC flowers that are an awning replacement, but it didn't really go with this build, so I do plan on adding that so my sims can have weddings here. This place is actually a fire hazard. I place so freaking many candles, and when you make candles smaller, the flame kind of appears like a couple of centimeters, a couple of centimeters above it. I, I think it added to the spooky ooky of the build. I have a couple other videos planned and in the works. I don't know if I'm gonna get high school. I can personally really live without the high school pack. I thought I might go ahead and get it since I make content for YouTube now. I was like, do I have to? Now that I have a YouTube channel, you have to get every pack. It, it could feel like it. But to be honest, I don't need another set of videos to manage and to worry about. I'd rather take my time with the packs that are sparking my interest at the moment 
and the Wear Pack has definitely sparked a lot of creativity for me. Someone recently posted a map on Reddit based on the Sims Discover University map, and I thought it was so effing cool that I want to implement it into my gameplay. So I made some Vikings who are also mermaids, some mermaid Vikings, some fairies. I'm going to build a fairy forest as well. In my Werewolf Let's Play, I have a family living in Mount Karambi, Mount Karambi, kind of like Game of Thrones where the Starks were in the north. My family is a group of isolationists, and when they traveled to Moonwood Mills, I wanted to feel more like a journey. Not that I just travel through the map and I click a lot and then I place them there. So I've been working on that and really expanding my own personal lore. And I'm almost finished with my plants and weed farm that I'm building. I have decided for my channel to focus 50% of my gameplay on occults and continue to build out that world through creative sim building videos and making all the occults interconnected in some way. And then the other half is going to be uh, family gameplay and uh, some small business gameplay. And that's going to be the direction I'll head towards for all my future videos. I do feel bad that I'm still very much into the werewolf pack and I guess I'm just at this werewolf party dancing by myself and everybody has already moved on to the high school years after party. Sounds about right for me. So that's everything I have to say. The Celine Apothecary is up next. Thanks for watching. Like and comment if you want and subscribe if you're about that life. Peace.